Hey, hello beautiful soul. I greet you on this beautiful day and I'm sending you all my love. And today's subject on my channel, Living Life From Love, is about negative mind chatter. So if you find this really bothersome, you know, that you're having a lot of negative mind chatter going on, putting yourself down or you know, um, and that's really making you feel low emotionally. Stay tuned till the end. And I've got the three reasons why we do that. And I've got some tips and exercises you can do to help yourself. Hey, okay. If you are new to my channel, this is all about living life from love, no matter what. So you can step into the coming fifth dimension that we are already living parallel with some of us and that we are all going to be stepping into in the very near future. So we need to be prepared more and more and we are upgrading ourselves to living from love instead of from fear. And I am, of course, Carolina Cummins. So negative mind chatter is really there, you know, because you probably think, oh, you know, I can't help it. It just comes along. I, you know, I can't stop it and and it's always there and it's just going to, you know, and 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 you simply think that you can't do anything about it. So that's probably why it's there. And also, we've never been told everywhere, anywhere that we can actually become the master over our mind and we need to control it. You know, that's the step that we have to do. But before that, even the very important thing is to decide that I can change my negative mind chatter and I am now willing to and I'm now declaring to. I'm doing that now. Make the decision. That's like an intent and that's what you're going to do. It doesn't matter how long it takes and it doesn't matter if you slip up. But keep on reaffirming, redeciding every day I'm going to reduce my negative mind chatter. Okay, so this is really important, you know, it's very step one. Um, and to become more aware of what's actually going on, because very often it's kind of very fleeting thoughts and they are gone in no time. And, and when you maybe shift into another state, you feel better, you've forgotten all about it. And, you know, which is a good thing in a way, but you, it's still there. It's still underneath, you know, underneath the surface, it's still all there. And it's a good exercise to spend 15 minutes or so and just write out all the stuff that you're constantly thinking. And then you'll see it on paper, what's going on underneath the surface in your unconscious or subconscious mind. And that might be a little bit, oh, do I really believe this? Oh no, this is what I'm thinking about myself. And then, you know, look at it and see, look, this, this is what I'm telling myself all the time. Not good, right? So it's like bombarding yourself with low vibrational energy all the time. So that's why it's really important to become more aware of it, to make the decision to stop it and change it and then go about it. So um, the actual, I just want to give you the three reasons why, why we're doing it. The one I already mentioned, it's because we have not decided that we can control our mind and that we want to, and that we want, want to change the thoughts and that we want to choose what we are thinking. This is the first reason. And the second reason is, um, you know, yeah, that it's, it's actually, I said it already, that we decide, you know, that we make the intention. So we take back our control. We take back the reins from the mind. Because you know what, in society, with everybody who isn't aware of this and who hasn't made the declaration and the decision, I'm going to change the way I'm thinking, they won't, you know, because they, are, they haven't taken their reins back. They haven't even thought about the choice that they have. So very, very, very important, yeah? So it's all about awareness, so much more awareness. And then the last reason, the biggest reason really why we have negative mind chatter is that we have unresolved beliefs in our subconscious mind that are constantly, it's like a programming, you know, they are actually the breeding ground and they are constantly creating 
those negative thoughts and beliefs and the judgments. And you know, this is probably what you're doing. You're, 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 I, I guess you're probably judging yourself. You're putting yourself down a lot all day long. Every little thing, oh God, you know, I spilled that coffee, typical me, you know. Or, or you know, look how, how clumsy I am with, with speaking up to someone, you know, or, or I can't even do it again. I didn't do it, you know, I didn't do it, look. Um, or you think you are, you're just stupid, you know, you're just, nobody wants to know what your opinion is. Nobody wants to listen to you or, you know, whatever it might be, this is detrimental to you. You, you don't want to have that. You don't really don't want to put yourself down any longer. And so it's, you know, beliefs like, um, you know, I'm stupid or, or nobody loves me. Uh, I'm wrong, you know, and, and the slightest thing comes along. I've had this recently, actually, in, in my on my um, in my Facebook profile. I was just asking the question, hey, guys, are you still eating meat? And I was just wondering, you know, people are changing that. I don't I can't eat meat anymore. You know, it's just not possible. And and she said, well, and what if I do? Will you judge me? You know, and that's how it started. And she was OK. And she was saying actually what she was doing. And then all of a sudden she she kind of blamed me and judged me, you know, for even asking the question. And I could tell immediately she's believing that she's wrong. You know, it's wrong that I eat meat. And and so this is an underlying belief and the slightest little thing that you you might do you might just judge yourself and say oh look there you go you know you get it always wrong you just you know it's not that's not how you do or you get other people to imply that you're doing things wrong so this is of course the most the, the most important work to to do to get rid of negative mind chatter to uncreate to dissolve the untrue and false and limiting and down putting beliefs this is actually something I offer, I you know, in my um, Rediscover Your Radiance program. It's almost all about that. I've created that program because I've had that problem. You know, I was suffering from feeling not wanted and and always thought I was not worthy. I was I had no worth and I was not valid. You know, for I, I wasn't validated. You know, I felt like, what am I good at? And it was such a suffering. You know, for for decades for me that I actually, I made it my dedication in life to uncreate that, to get rid of all that. And then I realized, ah, you see, I had to go through my own journey and now I am offering it to you. So I started doing that last year and I've worked, you know, with myself, obviously with my clients and in that program, like I said, it's all about deleting those beliefs that are holding you back, that are kind of like clouds in front of your light. And, and the out, you know, the, the journey is from feeling a lack of self-love or self-worth and then coming out the other end, feeling reconnected with your own joy and your own love and your peace. And that's the biggest outcome that my clients usually get. They just feel so much more joy. They have unconditional love for themselves. You know, they treat themselves really nicely. They look after themselves. They give themselves me time. They, they stop when they need to stop. They look out, they listen out to what's going on within. They praise themselves. They can stand strong on their own feet. They can't be blown over anymore, you know, like they used to when somebody just says something to them or gets angry with them or, you know, something like that. And, and they can speak up, you know, they can speak their own truth. And when they need to say no and create a boundary, then they say no. And these are sort of the typical, um, scenarios that we can't do when we don't love ourselves you know and you might have your own other scenarios that are coming on but it's really it's all the same subject you know what i really want to help you is to end you know unworthiness and come back to your own unconditional love if this is something by the way uh, you're interested in just leave me a comment or join me on facebook you know carolina comments i also have a group you can join that's called finally feeling loved I will put the links underneath the video um, and you know if that is something you're ready to jump in and you just want to really want to be yourself be authentic and love yourself as you are then i invite you to connect with me okay so let's just um recap quickly you know the three reasons why we are self 
uh, we're having a negative self-talk is because we have never thought that we can actually change our thinking. We haven't decided on that. And we haven't actually found the real root cause of the negative mind chatter, which is the limiting beliefs. And the little tricks that you can do is to help yourself to become more aware as of writing out what you're actually thinking, setting, you know, sitting down maybe for 15 minutes and write out what you're thinking, becoming aware of it. And that might ring a little alarm bell. Oh, I don't want to bombard myself with these negative thoughts. Um, another tip I want to give you is to when you have negative thoughts, the usual thing that we do is to, oh God, there we go again. I did it again. And oh, can I just stop talking like this? But don't do that because that's a resistance. You know, you're resisting what you're doing, you know, what you don't like doing. You basically punish yourself twice. First, you're giving yourself the negative self-talk. Then you punish yourself with, you know, by saying, oh, you're so stupid doing that or whatever. So instead, smile at those thoughts. Ah, oh, yeah, hmm. I know you now. You're coming from a negative belief and I'm not having you. I'm now actually deciding to delete you. And you can imagine you're, pl you're pressing the delete button like you do on your computer and you just press delete out. And you're telling your mind by doing that, you don't want it, out, out. So the mind has to then, oh, okay, she doesn't want it. All right, okay. You know, the mind will re re readjust. And the more you do that, the more the mind will help you to not generate those thoughts. But the most important thing is still to uncreate those beliefs that are telling you lots of untrue stuff. Uh, so that's another little exercise that's really helpful. And another little trick I want to give you, when you are go, when you're catching yourself thinking negatively, it's uh, very important to, to tune that out, to tune that into the background. And you can do that by focusing on your breathing. So you just become really, really focused on every in-breath and every out-breath, every in-breath, every out-breath. And when you're doing that, the breathing becomes louder. It comes and goes in the foreground. And your negative mind chatter will go in the background. So that's another tool of telling your mind, I'm focusing on my breathing. That's much more important. That's all about taking in new, fresh air, oxygen, fresh energy, light. So it goes down my lungs and it then gets distributed all around my body to fill my body with more oxygen, with more light and new vital life force energy. That's so much more important than chattering along there at what you're doing. You see, that's another little uh, exercise you can do to help yourself with reducing the negative mind chatter. And it is, at the beginning, it will, it's like a daily task, you know, an hourly task even. But also I would highly recommend, you know, to work on deleting your untrue beliefs. And yeah, get going with that. So, so you're not bombarding yourself any longer with all these low vibrational energies. Makes sense, right? Okay, great. Give me a like. If you want to have more tips and tricks and, you know, themes on how to live more from love, more and more and more, so you can step into your fifth dimensional self, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, if you want to comment on something, let me know. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you again next Sunday, if not before. <laughs> Bye for now. Mwah.